Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Then On Air has been seen in the following publications. Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Hello. Uh, hello and welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler. I'm on Seiler. And on this edition, before we get to our uh, guest, David Wacker, on today, all the way from Israel, talking about uh, social work and people with special needs, uh, we would like to thank our sponsors, uh, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, including the partnership of um, the Association for the Blind of Vermont, the Division for the Blind in Vermont, and um, Einstein Hospital uh, and Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, and many other um, partners and sponsors for Ableton On Air, uh, including Green Mountain Support Services and Washington County Mental Health. Uh, we would like to welcome David Wecker of the Shahar Agency of um, all the way from Israel, uh, talking about uh, social work and people with special needs. Welcome, David, to Able Then On Air. I'm really proud to be here. Okay. Um, David, uh, why don't you get started? Uh, and what's the reason or what is the main mission of your agency? And uh, let's talk about uh, foster care and people with special needs. Yeah, the uh, the main uh, mission of my uh, my company we, we try to help kids when they uh, help kids in foster family and help them to find and get the best from from their foster system and to help them to get a new life in a new home and this is what we're trying to do. Okay, so what is the pros and cons of now, obviously, different nations have different rules, like the United States has different rules and Israel has different rules. What are the pros and cons within foster care and the way things are run in Israel? Like, what makes things better in Israel versus the United States? Yeah, then, for what I know about uh, the, the care system in the United States, they pay between... Four 450 to 700 dollar per month depending on the age of the child plus annual clo clothing of between 300 to 500 dollar in Israel system pay between 600 dollar to 1100 dollar per month in both 
to the pa to the parents for the for the yeah, child. Yeah, yeah, just to the parents. Yeah. Okay. Uh, of the child, uh, you no, know, of the kids get uh, in both of them. Uh, the child get health insurance for free, but I think in Israel there are more things that include in it. Mm -hmm. But the most important factor is that in Israel, because Israel is a welfare society, we don't just give the family money. We support them with a social worker that guide the family how to treat the kids for its development and how to balance between the kids' need and the family need requirement. Mm -hmm. We give each kid and his family a full therapy program that's suitable for him help him to overcome his hard task and help him to get tools that will help him to grow and become better. We give the kid, for example, an emotional professional therapist tutor that will help him with his homework and be like a big brother for him, parental guidance, therapy, horse riding, and more. This way we see that the kids get the best. And I hope I what is it. what is a welfare society? Can you explain that? Then actually in Israel, when you are in Israel, you get more service by by the government, but like the government give you more service mm -hmm. and you more protected. When you fall down, you're more protected. Then this is a welfare society. Like you you you're more protected when you fall down. So what are you saying that in America, they don't protect the kid as much as they do in Israel? Yeah, I, I think every society, like, making their choice about what's going on. In Israel, they like more more focus on things that will, like, give give more protection to people. Um, Arlene, go ahead. Did you want to start asking questions? Yes. Um... Do the foster kids get used to the foster parents? What if, if they get used to the foster parents? Like what yeah, if like, what if the child? Adjust? How do they adjust to the to the new to the new parents? How yeah, do they yeah, adjust? Then, yeah. It's 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 a really good question because some of them uh, really adjust to the new family, but some of them not. Most it's really it's really hard to find the right family for the kid. And it's a really, really hard for the family. Sometimes they are really excited to get a new kid to their home. But sometimes in the reality, the kid will have a very hard task and it's not so simple for him to, to be in, in a new house. And then he start to make things that make the family to feel uncomfort and then because it, it, it's it's a foster. It's not about they try to, they don't take him forever. It's just for one, two years. And then sometimes all the family or the kids say that they don't want to continue anymore. But most of the time it's work well and the kids get, you know, get more from it. And they feel that they start a new life. And we, we try to help them, them with that. Mm -hmm. um, now, what services does your agency provide kids with mental health, like, you know, mental health mm -hmm. conditions? Yeah. Um, Take your time. Take your yeah, time. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, absolutely. Israel have a, a wide addressing to the problem that people in special needs mentally and physically. We give foster parents with special needs more money. And we give them a lot of help with professionals that help them to make take out their ability out and, and give them tools that will help them to be important part of the society. You know, uh, uh, Lawrence, I just talked with you about uh, Forstein. You know, he, he really helped. So, kids. yeah, explain, explain about certain people. Well, yeah, uh, uh, Forstein is not here anymore. And also, they're um, talking about psychology and psychosocial with uh, uh, Pierget. The difference between, yeah, yeah. The, but the difference between the two people, and also possibly Freud, not so much Freud, but but how are those people with, 
with, with the exams that you, you have to give or help people to get to make sure that the children or the kids are, uh, you know, mentally fit uh, to go into a foster family. Can you explain uh, yeah. Freustein and the other guy? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Freustein believed that, you know, um, um, Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then first and say that there is a uh, every kid. He believe that even people with special need. That you know we we a lot of time blame the people with special need about their problems and all these things. And we as a society, I mean, and and what first and say that it's it's sometimes the society can help. You know, can can make a change for people with special needs, and he show in his research and in a lot of and he, you you mentioned Piaget before. He actually learned from him, and he told him, "You don't write. You think that it's everything about that, but people they are not machine. They are they can develop. They can develop in a different way, and he even have a radical belief that." Today, people start to see it even in research that the people can get even more, get over their uh, biologic, uh, how they create. Like he, he showed that in a research and he believed that if you will teach people with special needs, sometime they can get, you know, they can get to things that nobody believed. What, and, why do you think? Uh, about, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Then, well, then about. Mm -hmm, yeah, go ahead. But yeah, but why do you think? Did, why do you think America or or other countries blame? Um, you know, because you know the reason why the foster care system exists is because some people, you know, when when parents, you know, have had their children. Oh, you know, um, um, they might not have the means to take care of the child, so that's why the foster well, uh, uh, situation exists. I mean, why? I mean, why are um, why don't parents, in your opinion, why don't some natural parents want their child? And then, go ahead. Is yeah, then, then actually it's a really good question. I think most of them really want the child, but they have some obstacle and challenges in life that didn't let them to 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 get a child. Some of them have a very bad condition. Some of them have a very, you know, sometimes a mental problem that didn't allow them to take care of the kids. And, and some of them, we see that they didn't give the kids the minimum that, you know, that is like, it can help him to be a adult. And, and, and then, then we, we have to act. And, and, and I think we, we try to give this kid, uh, and I, I, I will go back to, to, to your question before. The, then we, we do a, a, because of that, what we understand that a lot of kids get a very challenging time in their, in their, uh, you know, in the biology families. Then what we do, we do a full screening of the whole family before, the, the foster family, because we don't want them to go again to family that will not protect them, we don't give them what they need. Mm -hmm. We don't give them emotional or, or what they need. And uh, we check if they have a health problem that can obtain them from taking care of a foster kid. So they, do a they get, so they get, depending on the age, they get doctors and they get help and all of that other stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, sure, sure. But I talk about the foster family before we approve them that they can be a foster family. We do the all the screening. We do a, we do a, a long interview with them to see that they understand what they dig in, and 
and see if they have the uh, if they have if they have if they if, if they can if they have the strength to to take this mission we do we do a we go to the home see that house is appropriate to the kids needs and we talk with the kids of the foster family to see how they are with the miss mission and just when we send a report to the inspector that allow or didn't allow the kids to get into the foster family this is this is a whole process that we do well okay then then why so in terms of the inspector he he goes into the house and make sure the house is is um is is ha uh his is habitable to live in to, to make sure yeah 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 it's no it's not just edible for living we, it's appropriate for the kids we want the kids to have a private place for him you know we don't like give him the minimum that necessary we try to give him more like if you like if you are uh you know we we try to find a family that can give a, a kid a, a better chance you know not uh, like the minimal chance and, this is part of the thing. Do you run a psychological test? Do you guys, yeah, do, who who tests the kid to see if they're appropriate for the family? The, the, the state of Israel? The country of Israel? Yeah, this is this is the welfare, the, the social worker that work in every city. They meet with the child. They, t they told us about him. They send us report about him, and then we need to decide. We, as a foster care, uh, you know, program, we need to decide if the kids and the family can go along together. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what if, what if the child is not appropriate for the family? What happens then? If he's not fit of a family, mm -hmm. then most of the time we try to give, if, if the family is already there, we try to find a way to help the family and the kids to, to find a way to succeed together and to, to build a relationship that right. will help the kid. But some of the time we, we, you know, we try to, we, we, if we see that it's, you know, it's, it didn't work in any way, some of the time we talk with a with a with a kid, or we 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 try to find an, another solution. But this is a really mm -hmm. rare situation. Most of the time, we succeed with the kids, and and and, and it's work for both of them. Mm -hmm. They don't they don't end up in an orphanage. Aviva, I didn't hear you good. Do they do they don't end up in an orphanage? Do, do you make sure that they don't end up in an orphanage or, or like a, a institution? Can, can you say it again? Do you make sure, do you help? They don't do end you, up in an orphanage. Okay. Do you help make sure that the kids don't end up in an in a institution? How, how I make sure that the kids get the right uh, treatment? Yeah. Right, it's going to end up in an orphanage. Do you know what an orphanage is, David? No, well, what you mean by that? Okay, in America, I'm, 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 I'm going to try to explain it. In America, there's a place called an orphanage. An orphanage is like an institution. Like, do you, do you people, in, do people in Israel make sure that kids don't end up in an institution, that they end up with family? Uh, no, we, we kids didn't, uh, in Israel, kids never, you know, never find themselves in like what you mean like a institution a, like a institution yeah then you know some of the time if kid have a very very i hope i understand about what place you talk but if some kid have a very like he need a really special treatment and he need a lot of you know psychologic and psychiatry and all all that kind of professional to, to be around him then maybe a foster family is not the right the right place for him. Then sometimes if we see that this is the situation, we're trying to find him a better place to be that will help them to grow. To, But yeah, yeah, you know, it's happened sometimes. We didn't like it. 
you know, but some kids real, really need a special, you know, a very something that really yeah, yeah, fits yeah. for them. And, and we try to help them with that. How, how, how young are the children you deal with? It can, it can start from uh, even half a year to 21 or sometimes even more. Wow. So you, you help the kids like in, in uh, um, after high school? <coughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes. Uh, especially kids with special needs, but not just, you know, he, 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 some of the time we can take care on kids that they are 19 and we want to help them to get ready to the military or to to work or to find themselves in the college, in the college, adult college. Work. Yeah, to find them in the college. Yeah, and sometimes we help them. Mm -hmm. um, so what are the misconceptions around uh, uh, working in the foster care system? Like the, the thing, yeah. yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people, um, you know, um, people think that most foster kids grow by a stranger, but the data show that most of them grow by relatives. It's a lot of time, it's it's not somebody that is, is really, you know, not don't know them. It's a family, it's an aunt, it's an uncle. It's a uh, grandpa, grandma, you know, and a lot of people think it's just a uh, totally stranger, but most of our families is, is something that family like that, that something happened, God forbid, and, and then, and then uh, you know, uh, we, we, we take care and help the family to take care of them. Uh, is, um, our, our, once you place the kid are they um are they more scared when they first go into a situation yeah sure sure you know no i i think like you know it's a really really scary scenario when kids get to a new house sometime he yeah. didn't know the new parents but sometimes, you know, there can be hope there too, you know, for a new life, for yeah. uh, new opportunities, for a uh, normal life for the kids. Mm -hmm. But yeah, yeah, kids a lot of time, they're really scared from all this situation. And, and we dare to support them, you know, because of that, we go with them, we see that everything go well. I, uh, they have to get used to it. They have to get used to the new. They have to get used to the new surroundings. Is there anything, um, Arlene? Is there anything before we end? Is there anything you want to add or any more questions? Go ahead. I want to know that does the kid get used to the place, or the, does it, do these kids have problems, or do they? If they can the parents handle their problems? Yeah. What happens if a if a parent absolutely cannot handle a kid you place. And this is really rare, but we all the time, this is something that you need to know. And Aviva, I think it's a really good question because in Israel, we all, every month coming to the kid, asking what's going on with him. We are the social worker, see what's going on with him. See if he get some, uh, some treatment that help him to grow. And if we see that he didn't get, get this uh, treatment and we see that he, the family didn't do a good job, sometimes we can decide right. that the family is not fit to be a foster family and then we will move him for a better family. And we all right. the time check to see there if there is, not that we know that most of our family will never do something like that, but we can take a chance and we we take we do test for you know we check with the kids if somebody abused them or something like that to see that the kid is to, is fully protected by from these things mm -hmm. okay well um i would like to thank you for joining us on this edition of able to on air um for more information on what you've seen today on Ableton on Air, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. That's www.orcamedia.net.
M E D I A dot net, N E T. Uh, we would like to thank David Wecker, social worker, all the way from Israel and from the Shohar Agency. Um, we would like to thank him for joining us on this edition of Ableton on Air. Uh, again, thank you to our sponsors, Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many others, including the Association for the uh, for the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired, um, and many others, including um, Einstein Hospital of the Bronx, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, and the Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, and also um, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity. Again, thank you, um, David Wecker. Thank you very much for yeah. inviting me for your wonderful program. Okay, thank you. You, you uh, and, and, we hope, and we hope to have many more people and many more uh, professional people from Israel explaining how, um, in the future, explaining how things work there. Again, Thank you for joining us on this edition of Able Dinner on Air. I'm Lauren okay. Seiler. I'm Arlene Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Able Dinner on Air include Green Mountain Support Services, Empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community. Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Able Than On Air include Park Chester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Den On Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England Chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.